What's up, everybody? I am BK, bkbangers.com. Thank you guys for joining me today. This is my second time trying to record this thing. So hopefully it works this time. I have to switch programs in which I was uh, recording. Anyway, Serato Studio Beta is here. It's actually, you know, kind of like the NPC Slayer, the software. The NPC software slayer. If you guys are familiar with the channel, you guys know that I've done the Serato sample um, challenge, the Serato sample review. Uh, I got tons of views on that video last year or the year before that, whenever it had was released before. Um, and I always said that Serato sample was great. It just needed a little bit more and they gave us a lot more not just a little a lot so if you're a DJ and you got Serato DJ um you're very familiar with this layout if you're coming from the NPC and you uh or Fruity Loops or any any DAW you could jump right in the swing of things it's just a little bit different they call things crates so that's a little bit different and if you're coming from the dj world then you know what crates are or well, at least you should right the gui is a little different but it's clean i like the setup we have pads right here you can control it with your numbers on your uh, laptop, keyboard, whatever. They give us eight of them. We have these crates over here. Uh, we can't delete as of yet. There's no way to delete, but you could duplicate. You have your um, play and, and record. There's no stop. We have record and overdub, which I, put, I leave it on overdub because uh, once you start to record, you know, you want to overdub and you can use your MIDI. I'm using my MPK mini, um, which is connected to the MPC and the MPC is connected to my interface via um, the MIDI, the five pin MIDI then. So you can use the pads on the MPC as well. You just got to select it into the MIDI function in order to do that. So we have the crates, right? You have projects. You have your drums. Again, you could create your own crate. Name it whatever you want to create it. Unfortunately, like I said, we can't delete. Once we got them in here, there's no way to delete them. I tried before. If anyone knows how to delete it, please post that in the comment section. I'd love to know. I haven't read the manual, so I don't know if there's actually a way if I'm overlooking it or underlooking it. I haven't seen it. So we have the drums. They give us a bunch of drums um, as well. They give us a bunch of audio samples as well. And they all come with, um, you know, the name of them, the artist the BPM and the key of the sample. And then they also have comments over here. Genre. Wow, house techno. <laughs> it was a lot of house and techno stuff, right? Wonder why. But um, and then we got FX. We have instruments. And then... We have plugins and the plugins is that it scans your computer wherever or wherever you have your plugin stored at it scans it and then it it installs it into the serato studio one thing that i noticed with it i'm not sure if it's an isolated incident uh when it was scanning it scanned for a long time i multitask uh with the scanning because i had it scanning i was listening to a podcast and i was taking a, a test to um, update my licensing um, and I finished the test and was still listening to the podcast and it was still scanning right and it gave us little updates here and there and you had to you know either confirm or decline if you didn't have a, a plugin that was installed 
uh, or, you know, you remove that plugin or whatever, you know, we have plugins that we don't even use. So it scans everything that's in that plugin folder. And it took some time. Um, if you don't have your iLock connected, things that's on that iLock, you have to either say okay or you don't have it or whatever. Long story short, it took a long minute. So please let me know if you uh, also went through that. I'd like to know if it, you know if it's just the beta. And uh, this is a reminder to myself that I need to chime in in the community uh, to let them know about that little situation that's pretty much it man this is a drag and drop click and play type of thing it's not no rocket science here it's super clean super simple to get busy um me personally i'm not a fan of the step sequencing but you know if you're coming from like fruity loops or any even the npc has a, a step sequencer and i haven't used a step sequencer in the npc maybe once or twice oh, and not seriously so I, you know i'm just i'm not a fan of step sequencing i rather bang it out you know what i'm saying so it when you open up serato studio it has it opens up with this uh drum kit and also they have a drop down folder here that you can choose any randomization of any genre of music that you are making right so if you're making hip-hop rap you select hip-hop rap if you're making trap you select that and it goes from reggae to dance hall to latin drum and bass dubstep edm r&b you know <laughs> all the popular genres out there and what you could do is you click on this right here where it says trap and then it sets a bunch of uh midi notes in there right and then you hit it and then it changes it so if you need to come up with a fast uh beat and you're not your brand spanking new to creating um drum programs and sequences you just and you need a quick idea you just hit that right and it's pretty cool they call these scenes and they're one bar um sequences so if you two bars four bars right um and that depends on your tempo as well because if you're in like double time then this four bars become two bars right um just because of the timing whatever chat supposed to already know that this is not a teaching situation i just wanted to bring forth um to people who visits my channel for my subscribers who bang with me uh serato studio man again this might be the npc software slayer for the main purposes of what serato sample was and is they super saned it like it's on a super sane level with samples so you drag and drop click and play right remember i said that so when you drag your samples in whatever key you have the master set to and bpm it whatever it's set to when you drag your sample in here it automatically sets and time stretches in one thing and then you just you know play out whatever it is you're gonna play so i'm gonna display that right now um i just wanted to go over a little bit of the stuff you you know <clears throat> on each pad or sound you you can um adjust the attack the release the reverse uh you could add effects on it you know you could add up to three different effects on onto it also 
on the left hand side right here this is the for the pads on the right hand side this is for the program if you will this is for the or the drum kit right and you can add um you can add effects for the entire drum kit or you can add sounds or effects on you know each individual pad if you will and then this is the volume meter level right here up and down and you have a filter low low mid high this gain boost or cuts the sound itself different than this uh this level right here all right and i think that's pretty much it right then we have this little robot over here and you could do stuff like you know things like that i believe that's the velocity but i'm not i'm not 110 percent positive i have not read the um the manual so i don't know exactly what that is so don't quote me but i believe that's to adjust the velocity because i haven't seen any other way to adjust the velocity in my little um experience my short experience with it um down here it says 21 days remaining when you when you install it you have 31 days of trial of the beta once that 31 days is finished completed if serato studio beta is still beta serato will replenish your beta usage if it has become public then they will um you know tell you oh well it's time for you to purchase this my man or my lady and then you would purchase it um i, I would hope or think or suggest to serato that it's i can't really suggest that right what i'm about to say but i would believe that it would be uh, at a discount um price because serato sample from beta to it becoming the full serato sample when it became full we got a discount for um serato sample i believe i paid like 25 or 35 don't quote me it was a minute ago but i know it's not what i didn't pay the full price at that time all right so with all that said now i'm going to get into the giggles so I'm going to, uh, drop this screen down a little bit. I'm going to drop the screen down just a little bit. This is as far as it'll allow me to do it though. So I'm going to do that real quick. And I don't, I don't know where my camera is going to be because I'm using a different program. So I don't even know where the camera is at at right now because i can't monitor it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to randomly i'm gonna randomly i was gonna go and pull in sounds but i think i'm just gonna use their their sounds right now because my computer is bugging and when i go into different things yeah so so i'm just going to use the, their their uh their drum kit for right now just for the to speed this up I don't really like that though so no i'm not gonna use this i don't really like that kit hold on let me go to drums drum kits let's try this one
This is why I don't like step sequencing. All right, so we got the drums, some light drums. Not my best work, but it is what it is. So now that you got that, you know, it automatically opens up in C minor, but, you know, you might not want to stay in C minor. All sample loops, all... So... I'm going to just randomly pick one of these sounds um, and I'm going to go off of something that says hip hop, hip hop, R&B, trap, whatever. We're going to drag and drop it in here. It creates a, a sample um, thing, a sample crate. So, whose is that? And it's and it's in C minor. I didn't even know. Well, it says C minor, but it changed it to F. I didn't change it. I don't know what that's about. Right? That's interesting. So that loop is just like forever long. I don't know. I might not mess with that. But so say you wanted a different sample. You open that and drag it there. It creates it for you. Now, I don't know why it changed it to F minor. Like, I'm curious of why it did that. So, this is in the, um, the key of B major. And uh, it's playing it back in F minor. So, if I was to change this to B major... That's how it originally sounded. But we want it back to a minor. All 
right, so say you 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 like that. You go ahead, you put on your metronome, you hit record. Gotta bring this back a little bit. Bring this forward some. Bring this over here. Now let me be great. so that's you know something and then you could go back to the other one that you had or replace it right so it wouldn't be that I'm trying to find one man I mean it don't really matter switch that out Metronome back on. See, like that stab, I wanted it to go dun, dun, dun. And then you just blend it to taste, right? Again, you want to get familiar with the the GUI because on the left hand side these are the pads so if you were to move this right here that'll be that particular pad pad six but right here this is the entire sample so and then once you got that you know what I'm saying? It'll be better than, than what I got though, right? You go in here, they got different instruments that's already preloaded that comes stock with Serato Studio, or you can go into your plugins. Um the plugins are here. Again, I might have mentioned it in the recording before. <laughs> I don't remember if I mentioned it here, but the plugins scan um automatic it takes very long to scan number one number two um when you close serato studio and reopen it rescan plugins uh it automatically rescans um so you gotta open up this the uh the settings and then it'll say um cancel right here instead of can't scan you hit cancel and then you good um i don't know why it, it rescans all the time but it's been doing that for me all right so you can use your plugins your favorite ones and with the effects as well 
like you could use uh whatever plugins whatever effects you have in your uh in your joint um we're back to instruments i'm gonna look for a bass sound again there's no preview so i can't preview it before i i uh i drag it in there but i'm gonna add an instrument i'm gonna use any one of them don't matter Not that one, though. It. I'm gonna put on the metronome again. So the timing is off. Hold up. Hold up. And like that, you got a beat in Serato, you know what I mean? And then you do your little copy, right? Copy a scene, and this one, you know, you copy it a few times, right? So, boom. Copy this one again. Copy that, boom. So in scene two, if it'll start from the beginning, So I'm not positive why there's this doubling effect and I don't know if it's going to be on the video uh, when I do upload it. Um, 
man, if it's not one thing, it's the next, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm, I might save this as struggle, <laughs> struggle, fail twice, right? Boom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open recent and I'm going to open um, struggle fail was the one that I did before this. <laughs> and I had to delete that video and I might have to delete this one, but I'm going to open up struggle vibes. Come on, come on. The rainbow wheel of death, y'all. So. I I'm particularly opening this one too, to redeem myself and one to hear if that doubling effect is still there. Um, because I believe that it's the recording software that I'm doing to record this capture this video that's causing it, but I just want to make sure. So definitely is the recording software is causing it to double. So I don't know if it's going to be doubling it when I edit the video. If it does that, then I'd have to do this all over again and figure it out. But that is Serato Studio. I'm going to go live with this. Uh, probably never really because um, until I figure out what's causing it to, uh, to double up. I won't be using this in live recordings. I do, um, when I say live recordings, I mean, you know, live on my channel. I do videos like this, edit it down to the best of my capabilities, then upload them. But um, Serato Studio, man, it's 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 a beast. Um, it's Serato Sample on Super Saiyan mode. It's the MPC Slayer, Killer, whatever you want to call it. I might name this video that um, the MPC Slayer, the MPC Software Slayer, because the MPC can't touch that. But the software, definitely. Um, that's pretty much it. Any comments or concerns, post it up in the comment section. I will get back to you at my or most earliest convenience. Uh, do remember music is life. It is our DNA, y'all. Keep banging. Peace, love, light till next time. I would play it, but... too much of a delay so love and light till next time y'all peace